The Nexus 5 has burst onto the smartphone scene to give its competitors a run for their money, offering the latest version of Android alongside some impressive high-end specs and rock-bottom price. Among these rivals sits Apple, arguably Google's biggest foe in the smartphone arena right now, and with both companies now brandishing their latest headline handsets, it's go time for these competing companies. So let's take a glance at how Google's new Nexus Gladiator fares against its Apple-branded adversary. The Nexus 5 boasts a pin-sharp Full HD display at 445 ppi, aping the likes of the Samsung Galaxy S4 and Sony Xperia Z1, but falling short of the HTC One's 469 ppi lead. The 4-inch iPhone 5S, meanwhile, trails behind with a resolution of 640x1136 and 326 ppi. That said, it still managed to look great thanks to Apple's signature Retina technology, giving it superb clarity and depth. The Nexus 5 comes with the same 2.26 Snapdragon 800 chip coupled with 2 gigs of RAM as seen in the LG G2. Basically, it's fast and everything runs wonderfully smoothly. Apple's iPhone 5S has set the precedent for the next generation of smartphone CPUs with a powerful 64-bit A7 processor. Although it's not fully put to use within the 1 gigabyte of RAM in the 5S, Apple is paving the way for more powerful devices down the line. The Nexus 5 brings with it the arrival of Android 4.4 KitKat, it's not a huge leap forward from Jelly Bean, but there are some nice tweaks and new features that should appease Android users. iOS 7 is a controversial operating system and has drawn a love it or loathe it response from users. Personally, we think the flatter design and intuitive control center makes everything a lot easier to use, although not all Apple fans would agree. The Nexus 5 gets a 2300 mAh juice pack that should be able to give you up to 17 hours talk time and 300 hours on standby. We haven't quite finished putting it through its paces, so we're still waiting to see how this holds up in practice. The iPhone 5S's 1560 mAh battery promises 10 hours of talk time on 3G or 250 hours on standby. That said, it didn't fare so well in our review, leaving us a little suspect to Apple's claims. The Nexus 4 didn't do photos very well, but Google's looking to change this with the Nexus 5. This time we've been given optical image stabilization, which should provide far better photos and video than you'd be able to grab on its predecessor. The 8 megapixel EyeSight camera on the iPhone 5S is one of the device's best features, coming with a great blend of sharpness and low light ability. In fact, it's one of the best cameras we've seen on a smartphone. Neither phone comes with expandable storage. The Nexus 5 offers 16 and 32 gig models, whereas the iPhone 5S gives users more choice with 16, 32 and 64 gigabyte options. One of the most appealing features of the Nexus 5 is the price, coming at an extremely reasonable £299 for the 16GB model. This is up on 2012's Nexus 4, but it by no means breaks the bank and is positively a bargain for such a high-end smartphone. The iPhone 5S is less forgiving on the wallet, meaning you'll have to stump up £549 for the entry-level model. Granted, you're getting a much more premium-feeling phone, but we still can't see what lives in the iPhone 5S to justify being such an expensive device. So there you have it, two of the hottest smartphones on the market right now vying for your cash. Give us a shout in the comments to let us know which one you'll be shelling out for, and for more smartphone news and reviews, keep it locked to techradar.com.